here, welcome back. Today I decided to do something a little bit fun with colour and I had these two colours here by Colourpop. I've decided to use this one possibly as a liner and this one as a lip colour, adding some glitter and having a bit of fun along the way. Now I was going to film this as sort of a music over tutorial but then I kind of decided that maybe I'd just talk, talk to you guys. So I've already used my favourite bourgeois primer, I use it almost every time and I think today I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This foundation still hasn't won me over but it is quite a good uh, colour match for me right now. Okay, I put way too much on again. Uh, I guess it's because I don't like just pump it out and then go, oh yeah, one pump, that'll be enough for my whole head. I just do like little half pumps. Well, I can tell you this for free. It ain't gonna be a born this way looking foundation. And as always, my Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Make sure you're nice and powdery. I really can't tell you why I don't like that foundation, but I don't like that foundation. It just shows too much of your skin texture. I don't want that. I want to be cake based. I don't want any skin texture showing whatsoever. <laughs> so in my last look with the Kylie Jenner look, I really enjoyed just skipping the heavy contour stage and just doing bronzer. So I'm going to do that again today. This time I'm going to be using my Bahama Mama by The Balm. And today definitely feels like a blush day, so I'm going to be using NARS Orgasm. And for my palette today, I'm going to go in with, again, my Jaclyn Hill palette, because I love this palette. And today I'm going to go in with Procesco Pop. Okay, so I've definitely figured out that the reason that I don't like that foundation is because it leaves nothing to the imagination when it comes to your skin texture. If you're not a big fan of your skin texture, I'd say unless you've got like early 20 year old skin, teenager skin, that's flawless, I don't, I just don't understand how people like it because it just shows up all the texture. It's just picking up every wrinkle, every light wrinkle on my face it is picking up. I'm so angry at it right now. And as usual, it's a base for my eyeshadow and I'm using again the Essence Eye Heart Stage. Um, I should have asked. And so for the eye look to go with really dramatic, bright, fluoro pink eyeliner, I'm just going to do a nice matte soft brown eyeshadow. And for that eye look, I'm going to be using the Violet Voss Pro Palette. There are some gorgeous, sort of just really nice neutral matte brownie shades in this one. And as per usual, I'm gonna, just going to be popping this cream shade called Thanks a Latte all over my lid as a base. There have been so many good eyeshadow palettes that have come out this year. So looking forward to doing like my top products of 2016 because like it's just going to be palette, 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 palette. And so many good ones that I'm still yet to get my hands on. I don't know about anybody else but I love the challenge of trying to get a palette that's really hard to get in New Zealand, like an American palette. I love the challenge of tracking it down and managing to get my hands on it because it's so much sweeter once you get it. Okay so the first shade I'm going to be using is Transition and I'm going to be using that for my transition shade obviously. So to deepen up the crease a wee bit. I'm going to use this NYX shade and this one is called Are You Kitten Me? Alright, I'm just going to run that shade Are You Kitten Me underneath my lower lash line. And just to go a little bit darker, I'm just going to go in again with brownie points and I'm just going to deepen up the outer V and also bring that under maybe a third of my lower lash line. And then just taking that cream shade again, uh, Thanks A Latte, I'm just going to pop that back on my eyelid and just with a blending brush, I'm just going to blend that a wee bit. I'm going to take the shade Crystal and I'm going to pop that in my in a in a corner and on my brow bone already I can tell these liquid lipsticks make amazing eyeliners that was so easy to put on it went on smoothly it went on so opaque I am so happy with it all right that is officially the coolest eyeliner of all time but like, all time that color by the way it was in high ball and just while I'm waiting for my liner to dry before I put on my mascara, I am gonna pop on my lippy right now and I'm using the Ultra Metallic Lip and this one is in Flitter. I love this. It's like a pinky, it's like super gold but it's like pink. Alright, I don't think I can go to the supermarket looking like this now. And to make this makeup look scream I want a party even more than it already does, I'm gonna pop some pink glitter eyeliner over the top of that pink liner. In my favourite way, so baby doll mascara. And the lashes that I'm going to be using for this look are my trusty Cara lashes and these are in DW. So that's a completed look, it screams party girl. But you can always swap out this lip for like a sort of maybe a pinky nude to make it a little bit more wearable. Which I will do in two seconds, I'm just going to give you a close up of this look as it is. Okay, so I've just popped on something a little bit more wearable, and this one is an Ofra in Aries. So this dulls down the look a wee bit, and makes it a little bit easier to go to the supermarket in. So I hope you enjoyed this throw together look. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to become a member of the Candy Fam. You are missing out if you're not. And as always, you'll be seeing my face in the next one.